All right, doing a little review here of this uh, IYV, and it is a ISMF-200. Um, I guess it's like an offset guitar. Um, this is a reproduction of a, I'm not sure if it's a Jaguar or a, I don't know what, Paranormal or um, something like that. Anyways, I bought it because it was cool looking and and it was cheap. Oh, it was on Amazon for uh, as of April 30th, which is today, the making of this video. Um, I bought this two and a half weeks ago and it was only $119 on Amazon, uh, brand new. And uh, now, as of today, uh, the 30th of April, it is... Uh, it's on Amazon for 142. So this is just a general review. Uh, I'm not gonna play the guitar because there's a lot of other guitar players out there that have showcased this guitar already and shown the sound. But this is just a beginner's sort of review to see uh, what the guitar kind of looks like and don't see too many outside. So um, real quick story. I bought one on. This uh this same guitar on Amazon and uh like I said two and a half weeks ago and it was 119. Um and then this is why I'm an advocate for going on your local forums like your Facebook or your offer up and that's where I found this one actually. I ordered one of these, this exact same model, the ISMF two hundred on Amazon, and it was uh one nineteen plus shipping which or plus uh tax i mean it was free shipping and so it came out to 129 and like 32 cents and then so just for well for fun i always get on offer up and i don't use facebook but i always get on offer up and i look for guitars just cheap ones to mess around with and and uh, i found this exact same guitar and it was listed on offer up for 72 dollars and it was from a uh, one of these amazon or liquidation warehouse distributors so i guess they get returns from amazon and wherever and you know pallets of stuff and they just resell it so this one was listed at 72 dollars on offer up and i was like well 72 i just paid 129 let me go and see if you know now i get to compare i can get this one for 72 and i actually paid 70 dollars. i offered them like 60 or 50 and they said no we'll go to 70 so from 72 down to 70 for this one this is the one i bought from offer up uh so i had the new one and i compared the two and this one was actually better the one i got that was apparently returned already from somebody so the problem on the first one i got directly brand new from amazon was the nut right here was broken huge piece was missing um Maybe that's why somebody returned it. The back had a pretty pretty nice little globular paint run right here in the middle. Um, other than that, there was quite a bit of, right here in the truss rod cavity here, there's quite a bit of white. You can still see some white in here. I don't know whether, it, whether that's some sort of residue or glue. It looks like talcum powder or chalk of some sort. There was quite a bit on the new on the new one that's why i decided to go with this one after all the neck on the new one from amazon that i bought i knew it just needed a truss rod adjustment but you know looking straight down to check out the neck it was quite a bit bowed i mean more bowed than this one and i know that could have been gone through with an adjustment on the neck but it was just so bowed that I thought maybe if maybe it might be past a certain point and I would not be able to get it, you know, usable or maybe it was damaged. So I just said, you know what, I had tried this one out and it played good. This is the one from offer up for 70 bucks that I got. So I decided to send the other one back from Amazon because the nut was broken. It looked horrible right here in the truss rod area here, the routing. And it had a big globular paint on the back side and that's basically about it um this one just seemed better off the off chance and there's no reason for me to lie about this so this is why i'm a big advocate for using 
your either your Facebook, your offer ups. Look for these guitars, even they're, they're dirt cheap already when it comes to, you know, for a great guitar like this. I love the weight, I'll just let you know, this weight is great. It lists on the website, Amazon, at like 10.66, I think, 10.32 or something like that. Though the weight is fantastic. I, I like a slightly heavier guitar. I feel like if I get something super light, I feel like if I just hit it on the side of a door frame or anything, it's just, I feel like it's just gonna break and fall apart in my hands. I'm not clumsy, but I don't know why. Maybe if anyone else is like that, if let me know, do you think that a heavier guitar, I mean, to me it feels like it's just more or higher quality, but probably not so. So anyways, this is, I hope this is picking up in the picture. It's more of like a yellowish almost. It says it's a VW, which is vintage white, but compared to the Picard, which is like a pearl white, this is slightly bit more yellow. My wife actually thought this was yellow and I said, nope, it's vintage white. Fretboard looks really good on here. Fret, fret edges are really nice. Not sharp at all. The other one that I sent back straight to Amazon new, that didn't have any issues with the frets either. But, and just to show you, this is the box that I got from the distribution warehouse here in Las Vegas. Like I said, this was listed on offer up for 70. They had a, when I got to the place, they had a hundred on there. And I was like, well, you guys said it was 72 and you guys said offered 70 or 50 and you said no and you said you'll take 70. So they're like, all right, that's fine, 70 is fine. And I just, to show you, this is an offer up package here. It came from Corbett, Oregon. I'm taking this person's name off the top here. But this, so somebody ordered this from in Oregon. Somebody ordered this from Oregon and I guess they didn't like it so they sent it back and I got it for 70 bucks and it's basically brand new so you don't need to see an unboxing it's basically and this one had everything that the new one had it had the still on the plastic it had the had your tremolo bar here and the allen wrench in the plastic bag still and uh so my review of this is that for 119 or 129 I believe it's a good deal. Um, it sounds great. It's got great resonance on the body. And this one was second hand too. Somebody sent it back. Who knows how long they had it. Maybe they had it for 30 days. Maybe they didn't. Maybe they sent it back immediately. The neck's really nice on these guitars. Comes from uh, Vietnam. Boom. Anyways, here's the plan with this guitar. I bought this for a specific purpose. So I hope if anyone's interested in this, you'll consider liking and more so just subscribing to check this out. I'm going to be giving this a paint job. Body and the headstock, front and back. I'm not sure at what point I'm going to go to the back of the painting. Maybe do this just basic outline right here. Paint that, I thought to maybe do some, the whole neck possibly. I like a little wood, maybe I'll just paint the edges, maybe just leave a little area here where the, your hand runs up and down. But here's the plan. After watching a few other videos, seeing some other guitars painted, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a good spray paint job. Here's the base coat. I'm gonna use a Lagoon Satin. You can't really make this out, but it's more teal that's why i got it because it's more teal it's showing up blue here let me put this in the sun here i hope that makes probably not picking it up it looks blue but it's more of a aqua or teal so that's going to be the base coat i'm just going to scuff this body up after i remove everything scuff the front up here in the back obviously take everything off here strings everything pick guard and I bought this so I don't have to put a primer down first and then a base color and then a sparkle, which is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to use this, scuff it, put this on, on real, and then a couple minutes later, here's the color. I'm going with this Rust-Oleum Imagine, and I'm going with the Glitter Turquoise. So this looks amazing. 
I don't find colors like this on guitars. Maybe because nobody <laughs> nobody wants <laughs> glittery turquoise, but I think this is gonna look sharp. Let's see, get this in the sun here. Look at that. See that sparkle? This is gonna look sharp. So if this if you're into that kind of thing and you want to see this before and after, go ahead and uh, subscribe. I'm gonna start working on this today for another video. I'm gonna try to put it all together in one or two videos because I'm not very good at editing. So that's gonna be the next, right after the base coat of this Lagoon satin. I'm gonna put this right on top of that. Give it this teal turquoise glitter. This stuff's hard to find. I could only find this at my local Joann's Fabrics here in Las Vegas and it was 11, almost $12. This stuff is, it seems impossible to find at your Home Depot or your Lowe's Lumber or or your uh, Hobby Lobby I went to and nobody had this. I had, they had two cans of this at Joann's and that was it. So, and I, I think I saw this on one of these on Amazon and I think it was like $28 for one can and it was the, it was the Rust-Oleum and it said uh, Rust-Oleum Specialty Turquoise Glitter. And it just says glitter right here in the middle. And it was like $28 on Amazon. So I was like, no way. So I'm going to put that on. And then I'm going to do it. Two or three heavy coats of this Rust-Oleum Triple Thick Glaze. Uh, like I said, I saw this in another video. Another great video. And it's on a silver sparkle finish you probably just look up sparkle finish glitter finish on uh youtube and you'll see which video i'm talking about um and they use this stuff too so and then i'll give it a wet sand after that but so i'm gonna go headstock front and back all of the body in this glitter turquoise glitter i think it's gonna look sharp so if you're into that go ahead and subscribe and also I'm not a real big fan of these. I know this is themed after a certain guitar. Like I said, the Jaguar or the Par... Par I don't know. Not the Paranormal because that's a newer one. But one of these older era guitar styles. You can let me know which one they themed this IYV ISMF 200 after. But I'm not a fan of these switches here. Uh, on, off, and on, off. But so my thought was have this output jack here. My thought is to get another knob just like this, move these two back, and replace, get another knob just like this for this hole right here. And I'll just have it, same look, and I'll just have it to where it can toggle front and back to switch pickups here. I'm gonna do that too. And I'm just going to get rid of this here. I don't know how. I think I'm just going to, after these are gone, I might just put, I might try to get some of this material, like on a sticker or something, and just put a little sticker here and here, or maybe just like a little oval perloid colored sticker to cover this up, these screw holes. Like I said, and then I'm going to move this output jack under to about right here and put one of the round a round output jack here, like a recessed one, like a vintage, from like a vintage fender. So I'm gonna move this to here, route a hole in here, to it, so it follows the old cavity, wherever it connects at. Move these two back, and then this one right here will be your new toggle. Same shape as this knob here. So there'll be three of these knobs here, which I think will look cooler. And it'll toggle back and forth and take the place of these two switches here. And I'll cover this up with like a perloid, a little sticker or something, or maybe a, maybe let me get a hard little thin piece of plastic and glue it down there and paint it this color too. Maybe it'll look kind of cool against this perloid, but if you're into that, go ahead and subscribe if you want to see this next video coming up. So, all right, I hope this helps somebody out. Cool guitar. More to come.